Hi, welcome to Mamas and Mannies. I'm your host, Trina. This is a short form podcast for mamas that are looking for a quick burst of me time. As usual, we'll start the show off with a positive quote or a mantra to help you start your day. But this week, we are actually going to do an episode on affirmations. So I'm going to hold off on doing that. Before we continue, please share this with another mama that may be looking for a quick burst of me time or that needs some self-care just for herself. And don't forget to like the episode. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get started. Guess what time it is? It's mama time. Again, this week we're going to do positive affirmations for women. And I am going to be reading for from ourwestnest.com. And it's just going to be a list of affirmations. So if you want to write some down, I usually take my time, read through them slowly, or even ones that really um, touch me or really stick to me, I'll repeat those. So here we go. So you may be asking yourself, what is an affirmation? And right now I'm reading from our Nest West. Oh, I said it backwards. Our, no, our Westnest.com. I said it correctly. What is an affirmation? An affirmation is a positive statement that helps to overcome your negative thoughts and feelings. It helps to reinforce positive thoughts and energy. And it also says that reciting a morning affirmation at the beginning of your day can lead to more productive thoughts, a positive attitude, and can ultimately change the way you approach daily challenges. So definitely affirmations will help you make your day a little bit easier and just give you a reframe of how you're looking at things now. And they can also help boost confidence. It says that they can help um, you from having anxiety. I was trying to see what else. Okay. So I'm just going to start reading some of the affirmations now. And it looks like she's actually put them in categories. So this one is affirmations for women on self-love. So, you know, that's our jam here. The first affirmation says, today I choose me. Oh, that's a good one. Today I choose me. Number two, I know I am smart and capable. Three, I realize I am more than my circumstances. Four, I love the skin I am in. Five, I have the knowledge and ability to achieve everything I want. That's a good one. Five, again, is I have the knowledge and ability to achieve everything I want. Six, I will speak positive words and think positive thoughts no matter the situation. Number seven, I attract success. Eight, I know how to make great decisions. Nine, my black is radiantly beautiful. Ten, my hair, my hair texture is beautiful and unique. So those were the positive affirmations on self-love. Next, we have affirmations for success. One, I control my success. Two, today will be a productive day. Three, I will be the best version of myself I can be. Four, I think in abundance, not scarcity. So this is a big one, number four. I think in abundance, not scarcity. And sometimes, especially being a woman, just depends on how your upbringing was. I know sometimes for me, not saying that we were... Um, struggling or anything like that. I definitely don't want to say that. But sometimes just, again, how you look at things 
or even when you just get done with school or you're getting out on your own as an adult, you kind of think, oh man, I only have this much of whatever it is. Or you may use a, a mind frame of, oh, I don't have enough for that. A reframe for that, and instead of thinking scarcity, and that's more of, oh, I can't afford that, that's too expensive, or we don't have enough. So just reframe it and find a way to make your mind think, and also just find a way to reframe it. I don't want to say make your mind think, but reframe it in a way that you're actually thinking about it differently, which is reframing. (laughs) But I think in abundance, not scarcity. So for example, if you're saying you can't afford something, reframe that to say, okay, um, right now we're in a time for uh, Beyonce is going on tour. (laughs) So there's a lot of things out there on social media where people are trying to resell tickets, dependent like StubHub and other third party sites. And the tickets are really expensive. But if you were waitlisted, if you registered to get a ticket and you weren't able to get one and you see the tickets are expensive, are you going to take the mind frame of I can't afford these tickets? I can't believe they're that expensive. Unfortunately, now they're on resale. So people are going to try to price them for what they think they can get the tickets for. Sometimes on those resale sites, they'll actually go down closer to the show, depending on when you have it in your particular city. But you can reframe that and say, this ticket is this particular price. How can I afford that? Can I work overtime? And I do want to caveat this. I'm not telling you to go out here and kill yourself, work overtime, or do anything that you usually wouldn't do. But I'm just trying to think of it more of a reframe set. So how can I afford these tickets? What do I need to do? Is there something I can sell? More of a reframe and not thinking of scarcity like, oh my goodness, these are too expensive. I'll never be able to go. Thinking on one side of the coin, the, um, coin and not looking really on both sides of the coin and how you can really adjust what you need to be able to get what you're looking for. I know that was a long way of saying that, but number four, I think in abundance, not scarcity. Number five, I manifest the great day I want to have. So for me, that kind of goes back to number two. Today will be a productive day. Um, Number six, I choose to do great things. Seven, today I will be full of awesome ideas. Eight, I will achieve all my goals for the day. That's a big one. Number eight, I will achieve all my goals for the day. Number nine, I will be the change I wish to see. So that's uh, also a really big one. Um, I will be the change I wish to see. 10, today I will make a positive change by doing something I have never done before. Wow, that's a big one. So next we're going to do, she actually has, it's actually quite a bit. So let's see, instead of, I don't have to go. Okay, here we go. Actually, I'm going to go with this one. Um, Here are affirmations on manifestation. Number one, everything I want is everything I should have. That one again, number one is everything I want is everything I should have. Number two, I am created by a higher power and I know the woman I am. I am created by a higher power and I know the woman I am. Number three, I attract happiness and joy into my life. Four, I will approach all challenges with gratefulness, confidence, and zest. Five, I will not apologize for being myself. Ooh, that's a big one, especially being a mama. Number five, I will not apologize for being myself. Number six, I am comfortable in setting boundaries and sticking with them. I'm going to say that one again. I am comfortable in setting boundaries and sticking with them. 
that is a big one for being a mama. And sometimes it's hard, especially if your kids are young, but that is one that I really recommend everyone try to take in and say that every day. I am comfortable in setting boundaries and sticking with them. Seven, I embrace getting out of my comfort zone to explore all the future has to offer. Eight, I will make decisions for my happiness. My, no, excuse me, I will make decisions for my happiness. Happiness. Nine, my future is bright. Ten, I am manifesting my success all the time. So that's, those are some great ones. Let's see, and I'll do one more. These are affirmations for living a soft life. I am not, um, I haven't done enough research on the soft life, so I, I couldn't tell you what that is. <clears throat> if you want to, I would say Google it to see the exact definition of soft life or what that looks like or what that means. I just don't know what it is. And so this one is affirmations on living a soft life. I deserve a soft life. Number two, I take time for self-care. So that's definitely a big one. I take time for self-care. Three, I know all I want is all I deserve. Four, I am surrounded by love, respect, and support. Number five, my life is filled with love and joy. Six, I live a whole and fulfilling life. Seven, I am in control of my life. Eight, I have a beautiful day ahead of me. Oh, I like how that sounds. Um, number eight again, I have a beautiful day ahead of me. Nine, I make time to relax and enjoy life. Ten, I deserve to live a life of luxury. And I'm going to repeat ten again. I deserve to live a life of luxury. So please comment below and let me know what was your favorite affirmation that we went over tonight. Or if we didn't go over your favorite affirmation, please leave a comment. Let us know so other moms can get a list of affirmations for themselves. As always, subscribe to the channel so you'll know when new episodes come out on Monday. You can catch the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and you can also visually see us on YouTube at Mamas and Mannies um, on YouTube. And follow us on IG for more videos and snippets and self-care tips. And the IG is Mamas and Mannies. So as always, remember me time is essential and it's never selfish. Have a great week, mama.